Thank you for uh, joining us here uh, this morning. Uh, this is, uh, for us, a very exciting, uh, great outreach event uh, for East Windsor Township. So I want to also just thank the Princeton Regional Chamber, Kate, uh, Peter Crowley, the President, uh, and uh, all of you for uh, coming and being part of our uh, community and our event here this morning. So I, I think it's no secret that one of East Windsor's uh, goals and major focuses has been to grow our uh, high-tech, high-growth pharmaceutical-related company foundation here in East Windsor. We had uh, previously designated our uh, corridors in East Windsor uh, via the Einstein's Alley. Uh, we have partnered uh, with them at several uh, prior events uh, to show our strong support uh, for the vision of Einstein's Alley, which is East Windsor's vision as well. And that is, as I indicated, to make our community uh, a focus and make a priority for us uh, bringing in high-tech, uh, high-growth companies because they really are the future of our state and of our business communities. Uh, all of our businesses are important, but clearly uh, some of the cogs that are going to grow our economy that are really going to make us flourish and be strong are in these sectors. And we are uh, very excited, very proud by the success we've had here in East Windsor. There are a lot of good reasons for it, and um, uh, I'm sure that this morning we're going to focus on many of the reasons that these kind of companies have decided to come here to East Windsor. So uh, without uh, taking uh, more of your time, uh, I'm very, very uh, excited and I'm very proud uh, to uh, be able to introduce our uh, panel discussion this morning so that you can learn more about why so many companies who are high-tech, high-growth, pharma-related companies have been choosing to call East Windsor their home and our home. So uh, the moderator for this morning's panel uh, is somebody who we know well in East Windsor, has been a good friend to East Windsor, and it's kind of ironic he's the moderator uh, because he's an important component uh, in all of our success and their success as well because he helps ensure that we have uh, a strong uh, uh, infrastructure, uh, a strong power infrastructure uh, to uh, sustain and support uh, all of our businesses. Uh, and that's our friend Jerry Riccardi, uh, Government Affairs of JCPNL. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, like the mayor said, I'm Jerry Riccardi from Jersey Central Power and Light Company, and we are the local distribution company. So for anybody that lives in East Windsor Township, we are proud to serve you and provide your, your, your power and your energy needs. Uh, thank you, Mayor Mirnoff and the entire town council. Um, we do have a great partnership with East Windsor Township. Uh, Janice has been mayor for over 20 years. She is a great leader for this municipality and has really driven this municipality forward in getting a lot of these wonderful companies to, to expand here and to relocate here. So I think a round of applause for Janice and the entire council. All right, to, to, to get started, I'd just like to uh, bring up some of the, the, the panel members uh, and let them take a few minutes to introduce themselves. So, um, Philippe Thomas from Hovion, come on up. Luigi Congolo from Biofarm. Vladi <laughs> Ohanis from Shiseido. <laughs> Dennis Callahan from Arabindo. <laughs> and Chad Gassert from Levitum Pharmaceutical. <laughs> so how we're going to do this is I'll be asking some questions uh, of each of the panelists, and they'll have a few minutes to respond. But first, I'd just like each of them to, to talk a little bit, tell, tell everybody who they are and what their company does. So, uh, Philippe, we'll start with you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Philippe Tomas. I'm the general manager for Hovion, New Jersey. Uh, I've been with the company for uh, 17 years. I started my career in, in Portugal 
where the company started and I came to, to East Windsor in 2004. So Hovion, um, who we are and what we do. So Hovion is a, um, we supply the pharmaceutical um, um, companies, we supply product and services. We do, we work in the generics market and we also do the, um, uh, we supply services development and manufacturing services to uh, f other pharmaceutical companies with bread and product. Good morning, everyone. Um, Luigi Kogo. Uh, many thanks for inviting me here. I'm really thrilled. I'm brand new of the place because uh, uh, I can tell you our closing was uh, on July the 21st this year. So we are really brand new in the area, and we are very excited being here. Um, our company. Well, I come from Italy. Um, we are contract manufacturers in Italy, and we started as uh, cosmetic contract manufacturers, and we added um, about 17, 18 years ago uh, our line of uh, nutraceuticals. And we've been specializing in probiotics, which is our strength, <coughs> also because we have a very strong relationship with a Danish company, which is one of the biggest name in the world for uh, probiotics. The idea of coming here was that we have, uh, since about five years ago, a very strong relationship with a couple of uh, <coughs> sorry, U.S. customers, and so we thought it was a good idea to move to, U to the U.S. and start producing something here and serve them better. And hopefully opening uh, also new markets and new relationships with other customers. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Eladio Hanses. Well, I'm with Shiseido. I'm the plant manager at the East Windsor site. Um, happy to be here with everybody. Um, so Shiseido, uh, typically uh, when I talk to folks in this area, they say, oh, great building. I always drive by it. Okay. <laughs> but, but Shiseido uh, is not a well-known uh, here in the States. We are a cosmetic manufacturer. Our company is 145 years old. It started in Japan in the pharmacy area. It was one of the first pharma, uh, pharmacies in, the, in Japan. And uh, we turned to cosmetics uh, around the turn of the century, and we came to the U.S. in the 1960s. 1997, we came to uh, East Windsor. And uh, since 2005, we've been expanding our site, uh, both in capacity and capability. Uh, so uh, our company is global. We're one of the top ten cosmetic manufacturers uh, uh, here in the States. We mainly provide uh, high-end cosmetics uh, in Asia. We are more like the L'Oreal's and P&G's where we provide shampoos and conditioners and so on. But here in the States, it's mainly prestige cosmetics. And some of our brands, other than Shiseido, you may know as Bare Essentials, NARS, Recently, we acquired uh, Laura Mercier, Dolce Gabbana. So those are some of the brands and products that we make. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Dennis Callahan. I work for Orobindo Pharma. I've worked for Orobindo for five years. My role is Senior Operations uh, Warehouse Manager. I currently oversee that brand new facility that's uh, just been built here in East Windsor. Our corporate office, we moved our corporate office to the PAT Center. Uh, that was made by Sir Richard Rogers. So when you say people drive by and say, hey, what about that building? That's our building. Uh, Orbindo is a generic pharmaceutical company distributed into uh, 150 company, uh, countries and have over 500 different SK, SKUs. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Chad Gassard. I'm the CEO uh, at Novidium Pharma. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, NVIDIA Farm is a, a relatively new company. It uh, began in 2016, uh, and we also uh, operate in the generic pharmaceutical space. Uh, so Dennis is a com uh, competitor of mine. If you see me elbow him a few times, it's just uh, a friendly competition. But, um, but we're located on Lake Drive. Uh, we built our facility there uh, beginning last year uh, in March of 16, and uh, we just finished the building of the facility. It's about a 50,000 square foot facility. Uh, and we now uh, uh, house about 70 employees uh, at that site. So uh, it's been a, a wonderful year and a half operating here uh, in East Windsor, and we're looking forward to 
uh, many more years um, uh, here. Great. All right. Chad, you can keep the microphone because what, what we'll do here is I'll ask a question, we'll start with you, and then we'll just work our way but I down said, the I said no questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, only 10 or 20 questions. Well, It'll be really easy. Where were you on the night of... <laughs> Uh, East Windsor Township has become the desired location that a growing number of high-tech and pharmaceutical companies have made home. Can you tell us a little bit why your company made the decision to locate and or expand here? And what were the two or three key reasons why East Windsor Township became your final choice? Yeah. Well, when we, we began the, the, the company, uh, really we started to, to brainstorm what we wanted to do and, and where we wanted to do it. Uh, that happened uh, end of 2015. and so. Uh, between, say, December and March of 2016, we were looking all over the state. Uh, we looked in uh, North New Jersey, Central New Jersey, uh, even, even South New Jersey as well. Uh, and eventually we settled on East Windsor. Uh, you know, the, the most obvious reason is location. It's, it, it's centered uh, directly in the, the, you know, the breadbasket of the pharmaceutical industry. Um, the accessibility uh, to this location is, is, is bar none. Uh, with a turnpike right here. We have uh, the Philadelphia Airport uh, below us and, and Newark Airport above us, so we are able to have customers uh, or clients uh, or suppliers uh, very easily uh, get to us and very quickly get to us, which is clearly an important uh, aspect uh, of, of our industry, of having that accessibility uh, you know, to our partners. And so location was clearly uh, something that stood out. Uh, also affordability. Um, as you can imagine, uh, some of the areas that we looked at uh, were extremely costly, and uh, as a a new uh, company, we are, were very sensitive to um, you know our, our dollar, and uh, we uh, were able to get uh, the most for our dollar uh, here in East Windsor. So there was a number of um, different aspects of East Windsor that were you know really uh, you know important parts of us making that decision. But I, that I had to pick two, which I think is the the question that uh, Jerry put out there: uh, location and affordability. Uh, clearly were the two that really stood out uh, for us. You can answer the same question, please. You need me to repeat the question? Okay, sure. Uh, I'll just shrink it a little bit. Can you tell us a little about why your company made the decision to locate or, or expand here in East Windsor Township? So like I said, I've been working for Abindo for five years, and so the best way to describe working for Abindo is, is hanging on to a rocket. Uh, business, business has been incredible for the five years that we were here. So we, we knew three years out, four years out, that we've already outgrew the facility that we currently exist in. So we looked at the same, similar thing all over the state, even outside the state on where we were going to, where we were going to move. We were still keeping our existing facility up in Dayton, which is seven and a half miles away from our facility that we moved, but also, um, Prior to picking uh, East Windsor, meeting you know meeting with the mayor, meeting with the council, and, and seeing how they embrace um, farmer into this in this part of the state, and again you can't can't minimize where it is in the middle of the state. Like you said, close to to Newark Airport, close to Philadelphia, you got the ports, and so um, it seemed like an ideal spot for us. Okay, so for Shiseido, uh, I'm not exactly sure back in 97, it was before my time, why they chose uh, East Windsor, but I can tell you my experience and, and our company experience, uh, you know, we, we are in East Windsor because it is primarily a great location for transportation, right? Um, we, uh, we ship uh, here in the Americas, so our products that we make, but we also ship globally, okay? So having access to international airports, Having access to the seaport here uh, is is great for us, um, but also uh, people. Okay, uh, we've had uh, tremendous success uh, with the people here in this uh, in this Central Jersey area, uh, in Mercer County, with uh, attracting technical and skilled labor uh, for our uh, factory. So, uh, I think those two uh, are probably the two ingredients to, that really have. Uh, kept us here in East Windsor, and uh, most recently, although we've been here in 97, we've made a choice uh, back in 2014-15 uh, to continue expanding the site in East Windsor. We had other choices, but uh, we ended up choosing East Windsor for consolidating some of our operations, uh, 
And uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. And uh, I think people and transportation are probably the two reasons. So <clears throat> our story goes back about two years ago when we decided that we wanted to have this uh, production facility in the U.S. So I attended a Select USA summit in Washington, which is a very interesting uh, thing to do. And you meet all the states which are promoting their state, something in Italy we wouldn't even imagine of doing. Uh, so I, yeah, you're a good, very good at it. And uh, we had several options. Uh, at the end, we decided that we wanted to be on the East Coast because there is um, quite a lot of going on between the, the, the company in Italy and the company here. So uh, maximum overlap of working time. And um, we happened to meet the, the um, Choose New Jersey organization, which was very, very helpful in uh, <coughs> helping us meeting people and um, organizing, yes, um, site um, um, visits. And at the, at the beginning, we were really looking at leasing a place, right, and building our own uh, business there. And then, and then you need also luck. I mean, we came to East Windsor, and we happened to know Windsor Labs, which was the company uh, already existing there in um, Twin Rivers. And uh, we thought it was a, a very good place to be. Uh, we liked the location, the, again, turnpike, nice uh, industrial park. And so we ended up having an agreement, and here we are. So with, um, with Hovion, Hovion decided in 1999, the board decided to, that we should have a presence in the US, because most of our customers are, come from the US. And um, um, we looked, and uh, one of the cr some of the criteria were to be in the East Coast, because we wanted to be closer also to Portugal, where headquarters was. And then New Jersey was a perfect location because of all the pharma industry. Uh, with that said, then we looked, and having a, a location in between both airports, Philadelphia and, and, um, uh, and Newark, or New York with other airports, because that would be advantageous either for customers to fly in, U.S. customers or, or um, other colleagues, either from China or from Portugal or, or Ireland, where we have other plans. Uh, we had another challenge. This was back in 2001, uh, which was we were so we were looking to install uh, also the development part of the active ingredient. So we needed to install chemical labs and analytical labs. And in 2001, um, we approached a few municipalities. And uh, um, we found some resistance in some, uh, uh, in some locations. And at the time, uh, Dave Hoffman, he was the former president of, uh, of Ovion and founded Ovion in the US. He met uh, Mayor Mirnov. That took the time to, uh, to understand what we wanted to install. And that's how, how it all started. So um, uh, Mayor Mirnov and the township um, helped us to identify possible locations. And we went from there. So we started Operation 2003. And uh, we just um, more than double our capacity and acquire uh, additional land. So we consider East Windsor to be a, a Hovion headquarters for, uh, for, um, for our company. Great, thank you. And I've heard a couple of you mentioned airports. Uh, there's a hidden jewel in Mercer County. It is the Mercer County Airport. I've flown out of there numerous times. They're expanding. They recently added a new carrier out of there. Uh, mostly domestic flights, but they're, they're really growing, so it's, it's, a, it's a great place to, to think about using in the future. Our next question, and Philippe, I'll start this one with you. Having made the decision to locate in East Windsor, what has been your experience in navigating the township development and construction requirements and overall operating within the township? Have any of these factors contributed to your business decisions? Yes, I mean, the township has always been open and supportive of uh, uh, all the, the moves, and, and, and we just had a major expansion now, and, uh, and I think the whole process has been uh, very cooperative since the beginning, and, uh, you know, we have uh, been able to, uh, uh, to meet timelines, and, uh, and uh, all the support and clarification has been, has been very helpful, and that's one of the factors that, you know, makes us very happy to be in, uh, in, in East Windsor. 
Well, our experience, of course, is uh, very little because we just landed here. So one of the uh, things that I did at the beginning was to go and meet the mayor and say, hi, some Italians uh, are here now, <laughs> so <laughs> you should know about it. And, and we had a very interesting uh, uh, evening uh, speaking at their office and it was uh, nice, yes, it was nice. Apart from that, um, really we are into our refurbishment, revamping uh, process now and I don't see any problem. So everything is going very smoothly, they've been very helpful and yeah, I, it's, uh, we are happy, very happy about it. Okay, so I, stop me if I go too long because we've had so many constructions and expansions at the plant and we've been working with uh, the mayor's team at the at the township for a long time, but probably the most the most recent uh, changes at our factory because we're expanding, we're introducing a lot of new people. Uh, I can truly say that during the current expansion that we're doing, uh, the team at the town uh, really took the time to meet with our new staff so they could get a better understanding for the project and, and made the process, uh, the transition process, uh, very smooth. We, we've changed contractors, we've changed people uh, at the plant who manage the project, and, uh, and overall it's been a really good experience, okay? Um, one of the processes that we've added at our plant uh, also was a wastewater treatment facility, and we partnered with the township right from the design back in 2013-15. We started talking about it, and uh, the township has been working with us and partnered with us all the way through commissioning, uh, successful commissioning this year. So uh, all, I, all I can say is it's uh, been a good experience and it, it also uh, weighed into our decision, as I said, back in 2014-15 when we had some choices to make uh, is why we chose East Windsor, okay? Our experience with East Windsor has been tremendous. So if you, if you view from the point of our official groundbreaking was in July of 2016 to our official ribbon cutting ceremony, which was last month, uh, we were able to build a 567,000 square foot facility in a little over one year. Um, a lot of that comes to the support and stuff that you, do, you, you get from the mayor and her team from the town. Uh, you need their assistance as well as good weather <laughs> to, to get a project like that completed on time. Um, just, tr just tremendous support. Thank you. I mean, to, to echo the, the panel's uh, comments, as I mentioned, we, we just finished our, our 50,000 square foot facility um, only about a month or two back, uh, and um, it, it has been a tremendous um, partnership uh, with, with the township. Um, what we did was we moved into a, um, essentially it was a warehouse for, for walls and a roof and uh, we spent a lot of time and effort retrofitting that facility to support um, pharmaceutical R&D and manufacturing. And we have a lot of people that come through to, to visit us and they just can't believe at how quickly we were able to get through the construction of this site. Um, you know, some of these uh, folks, they're, they're working uh, throughout the state and um, when they view what uh, others have attained versus what we've been able to attain in terms of timelines uh, here in East Windsor, it, it's just uh, really dramatic. And, and that's critical uh, for, for, for small companies. Uh, that, you know, we, when you're sitting idle constructing, you're, you're not making money, and uh, if that was the draw out, th th it becomes a really detrimental and could be fatal at some point. So the fact that we had so much support from the township and the mayor to be able to uh, build out our facility and begin to utilize it as quickly as possible uh, is just, um, you, you really can't uh, say enough about that. So uh, such a, a supportive, very, very supportive um, situation uh, for, in, in order for us to attain what we attained. Okay, thanks, Chad. Uh, this question they really kind of spoke about already, but I'm going to let anybody like they can expand on it. Um, East Windsor is centrally located within New Jersey with access to multiple transportation networks. Along with the recent improvements in transportation links from the New Jersey Turnpike, was this a factor in any of your discussions on locating here? We have touched on it, and I think, as I mentioned, your location uh, was critical. Um, and uh, you know, not, not just for our partners, but our employees. And, and so uh, being able to get talent into your, into your company is, you know, that's the first and foremost. 
uh, and giving that accessibility, we were able to access talent from you know from from far and wide, uh, essentially giving uh, giving uh, you know the, the employees a reasonable commute uh, to to our site. So location is was, was really a, a very very important aspect uh, of of choosing our location here in East Windsor. Yeah, I guess I just want to double what he was saying. Um, <laughs> it's it's true. It's it's where it's located. It's close to the turnpike, but also, like you said, it, it gives you the ability to tap into uh, resources to to work for the company, where it's located, easily to commute to. Since we've moved our corporate office to East Windsor, we actually had employees move into East Windsor um, to to be closer. They they like the town. They like the quality of life, and so uh, it's a good move for us. Yeah, so for, for Shiseido, we, uh, we originally had our distribution center up at the tip of North Jersey. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, distribution out of there was not easy. So uh, back in 2010, we uh, acquired uh, Bear Essentials. And uh, that acquisition gave us uh, a brand new uh, distribution warehouse center in Ohio. So we made some strategic decisions uh, to expand in East Windsor, uh, warehouse and distribution back in 2013, and that allowed us to distribute all of our America's brands uh, from Ohio, and anything that we produce at the plant that goes to Europe or Asia, we distribute right out of East Windsor, uh, either by air or by boat. So for us, strategically, East Windsor has worked out great uh, from a transportation perspective where uh, we can distribute very easily and very efficiently here in Americas and also globally. As I was explaining to you before, um, we happened to uh, to arrive in East Windsor because we were really looking at a place to lease, or we we were looking, we was just wanted to have a look at who was around in our in our business. And uh, but we, when we just uh, came from the turnpike and, and two blocks away. It was uh, this industrial park where we are. We thought, wow, what a lovely place to be. <laughs> nice, nice buildings. Uh, these are the buildings, and Ovion was one of them. These are the buildings that we are looking for. And uh, so we, we thought it was uh, an extremely good place to be. Uh, for me, uh, of course, every now and then I go back home. Uh, very, very convenient in terms of uh, airport and customers and our <coughs> partners from uh, Denmark coming in and uh, distributing goods to our existing customers who are in Jersey or Connecticut. I mean, what more? What more? So it's, it's a really very, very, very good place. It's difficult to add anything new, but, uh, but uh, along the same lines, the, um, Location has been fundamental for uh, get customers in, and also accessibility of talent and, and workforce. We have a good percentage of our team members that live in East Windsor, but a lot do take the turnpike, and that that's also a benefit they have, and and the accessibility to the workplace. So that's definitely one of the uh, the factors that is that we we favor in, in East Windsor. Great. All right. Our last question: um, East Windsor is centrally located in Mercer County, like we've all been saying. Um, and, and especially as it relates to workforce and workforce development. Was the workforce an important factor in your decision to relocate or expand here? Absolutely. So we, one of the factors moving into uh, and selecting New Jersey to start had to do with uh, all the pharmaceutical industry in, uh, in New Jersey. Uh, the team here in East Windsor has done a, a, a phenomenal um, um, job in terms of, of, of getting the, the, the supplying our customers with the products they need but with that with really good uh, safety records and quality records and that has been also one of the main decisions of Hovi on board to invest more and to expand in East Winter. So we uh, I think the, the workforce is very very talented and, uh, and we can access a lot of uh, specialized people in, in New Jersey. With that said in some in some of the areas, we, we still get some challenges because the pharmaceutical industry, it is growing everywhere in areas very specialized. Uh, but I don't think we could be in a better place to, to get people from, from the pharmaceutical industry. So that's, 
that's one of the important factors of, of this location. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, um, when we thought about New Jersey, um, we compare that to our Milan area, and we're saying it's where everything in our industry happens, right? So uh, definitely um, having a, a, such a big amount of industries in the area means so a lot of uh, very good workforce. Um, we are really at the beginning, so I cannot say much. Uh, we are. We will start hiring uh, very shortly. So you guys be careful. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm sure. I'm sure uh, there is a lot of very very good workforce here. Thank you. So uh, yeah. So East Windsor. Uh, I think the location is uh, great for Shiseido. Uh, we we are in a business that kind of revolves around the fashion industry, okay? And uh, you know, regionally, we we have been focused on becoming the center of excellence for color and makeup, and we work with uh, a lot of our brands out of New York. So uh, having access to not only the turnpike but the train locally works out great for us. Um, and uh, we find that in this area, there's uh, there's a pretty large uh, pool of uh, especially technical, scientific background folks. And uh, I would say most recently, uh, the the trend that we're seeing is we're able to attract people that already live here because it's a great community to live in. But they're cutting down on their commute. So today, they may be driving an hour plus to companies in North Jersey, and uh, having the opportunity to work for companies. Uh, like us uh, here in East Windsor, uh, Central Jersey, gives them a much better work-life balance because now they're trading a 50-minute commute for a five-minute commute. So uh, for us, it's, uh, it's worked out great. Yeah, so our approach is to lure all the good talent out of all these people's company to come join us at our window. Um, our facility is, is um, distribution center. We have an automated storage and retrieval system in there. There'll also be uh, packaging lines. We'll be also doing uh, manufacturing for injectables and for solid doses. So the, the talent pool that we're looking to reach and tap into is, is large. And, and being in an area and an environment that supports uh, a pharma will allow us to uh, draw those people to our window. Yeah, clearly the accessibility of, of good talent is, is critical. Um, uh, without good talent or accessibility for good talent, then um, no matter where you are, it won't matter because you, you likely won't last very long. So having that accessibility to, to talent is, is, is very important. But not just the talent, but also uh, other uh, pharmaceutical companies. Um, you know, just this morning, uh, Philippe and I had a conversation and, uh, and we were looking at having um, uh, some process done overseas. And, and in our short conversation, we found out that uh, Hovion could do that right down the street. Uh, so ha having that accessibility to uh, other pharmaceutical companies, or other you know, biopharm companies, uh, is also critical. And um, as we continue to um, bring new pharma companies into th this area, that will just further propagate the, 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 the value and the importance of, of being in this, uh, in, in this township. So uh, I think I wanted to add that as, as well. Thank you. Just you know, first of all, I like to give a round of applause. What a great job for the panel did here. So I want to bring the mayor back up here for a few additional comments. Okay. So I want to thank uh, all of our uh, panelists, uh, both uh, for participating this morning, your uh, uh, insightful comments, and also for choosing East Windsor. Uh, which obviously is what we're most grateful for. So uh, I just want to make a few observations. The companies that you have seen this morning are a um, representative group. N none of them represent exactly any other company, but representative in the sense that East Windsor has been fortunate to have a large number of pharmaceutical-related companies uh, uh, located throughout uh, East Windsor, uh, all sizes. Uh, diverse type backgrounds uh, as well as product uh, and have all chosen East Windsor uh, as their home. So the comments this morning I think are indicative of some of the types of reasons and uh, uh, attractions that East Windsor has had uh, for 
uh, this type of company uh, over uh, the years. And we're very um, appreciative of that and uh, we're very grateful because as we indicated, this has been a primary goal for us. Second, I do just want to comment uh, because I was here when Shiseido made the decision to come to East Windsor. It was actually one of my first and most exciting uh, 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 accomplishments, I don't want to call it an accomplishment, uh, 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 occurrences uh, during uh, my first years in office. And I'll tell you something about the meeting because I think it also is a factor uh, in attracting companies. So I can recall uh, being uh, called up by uh, a representative, a, develop, a uh, real estate person. So Shiseido was looking for a property to locate uh, in uh, New Jersey in the United States. And I was called to a couple of meetings uh, with a number of, uh, large number of people around the table. Uh, who had, uh, uh, were representatives of the company, and um, the, um, they were uh, discussing uh, why they were looking for, uh, what types of factors. They had not made any decisions at all at that point, and um, so they kind of shared their thought process, what they were looking for, but what I picked up they were looking for more than anything else is that they wanted to be welcomed. They did not want to come to a municipality or acquire property in a town that did not wish them to locate there or the, through the processes that they were going to have difficulty maneuvering. And, and so that was very much uh, the interest. Uh, they uh, insisted on meeting with the mayor, and I meet with all major businesses, if not all businesses, since that is one of our um, primary areas of, uh, uh, of, of activity here in East Windsor. But that was a uh, requisite for their decision and they needed to know and to hear that. Uh, we exchanged gifts, we did all of the typical uh, Japanese related um, uh, 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 actions and customs that one uh, would expect in that kind of situation. Uh, the decision was made to locate here and uh, you should also know that they own an additional 40 acres uh, uh, to the west of the property uh, and came here with a uh, master plan to grow and fortunately I know that they've had key opportunities to move elsewhere. Uh, it did make me a little nervous at one particular point uh, but fortunately they've not only stayed but they've grown. Uh, last year I believe it was uh, they announced East Windsor as one of their new innovation centers which was a very prestigious and really exciting thing for East Windsor because it was a global designation. So. Uh, they have been just a, a terrific partner over the years, but that was how. I uh, have a very funny story about the opening of uh, the facility, but I'm not going to tell it. It's a little, got in a little politics, which was bizarre, uh, but I'll be happy to share the story, but not for um, press or public uh, consumption. Uh, <laughs> um, very, uh, I remember it to this day, uh, and uh, it kind of is, uh, I think, typified by the. Uh, 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 the bowl, uh, we provided a gift to uh, Shiseido at that time that uh, still sits outside their lobby area, uh, showing the partnership, uh, wings crossing uh, was the theme of it, so um, very uh, exciting. So the um, other um, comment that I just want to observe that I did hear from a number of the individuals, um, and I have heard uh, as well uh, during my discussions with companies, uh, that have made the decision to locate here. Uh, and actually, when I toured uh, Aerobindo, they moved into not only did they f construct a brand new site, but they then acquired that path center that was uh, referenced, um, uh, which was the uh, Sir Richard Rogers building. And in January, they moved their um, administrative staff into the building. They've got 122 uh, admin staff in that building right now. I took a walk through the building in January and um, not only was I thrilled to have them here and have that be corporate headquarters, but the employees were really excited to be in East Windsor and what they observed to me is they loved the community, they loved all the shopping, the restaurants, the trees and the greenery and so it was also um, very, um, um, it, it, it was a very encouraging type of insight uh, by people who were working in these companies and the companies themselves that these lifestyle factors uh, were an important part 
of locating here and as important, if not more important, have become an important asset for their employees uh, and their environment here as uh, East Windsor as a workplace. So I, I just want to uh, uh, make that observation because uh, obviously when you get um, uh, as well new companies of these size uh, and these types of expansions here, it becomes a mutual support uh, network uh, for all of the other stores and restaurants uh, and uh, markets that uh, exist here in East Windsor Township. So that's been a terrific thing. And I'm, and I'm going to say that uh, aside from our uh, positive radius uh, when they're measured, I'm sure it's also been a, uh, an important factor in attracting uh, some of the big national retail brands that in recent years have decided also to make East Windsor their home. Most recently, we had a grand opening on Saturday uh, for Coles. Uh, and as one of my members noted at a meeting, they even closed their at one store. So, uh, but they're here in East Windsor. So uh, it, it all becomes a wonderful synergy to support all of our businesses uh, within this region uh, to have such great companies uh, such as these uh, uh, choose to locate and make East Windsor home.